Hey kids, it's Sephora time. So what's up you guys, it's Vicky J and I have another Sephora haul for you. So, if you follow me anywhere else on social media, you probably knew how pissed to the off I was about the Epic Rewards fiasco. And I vowed that I would not give my coin to Sephora until they rectified the situation. And then they did. They rectified it. I sent them an email. I'm, I'm sure many other women did as well. I sent them an email and I explained, hey guys, what was this about? I mean, you know how many beauty insiders you have. <laughs> like, you know how much money you made. How are you gonna sit here and tell us you didn't anticipate the demand? Now, I understand limited edition, and I wrote about this on my blog post about it. I understand what limited edition means. It means there's not a lot. There's not enough for everybody. There's not an endless supply of this stuff. Gotcha, sis. But when you sell out of all of the epic rewards, <laughs> in like less than five minutes <laughs> like what what exactly do you mean by limited extremely limited are we talking five ten twenty if there were like 50 of each epic reward and there were approximately five rewards per category like a thousand points then i think it went to two thousand points and then five thousand and then ten thousand so if we're talking 50 of all of those. That still isn't enough for the demand. You should have enough to sustain a smooth hour, <laughs> at least. But anyway, they made it up to us, um, at least in my opinion, I felt like it was a sufficient apology. They gave us $50 to shop. Get whatever you want, girl, it's your world. And I did. I just, it was $50 off your order, no minimum purchase, and they gave you a customized code. So I got a few things. I mean, I had already spent all that dang on money. Um, I had already gone to Ulta and cheated on Sephora. <laughs> uh, and then I had spent that money uh, during Beauty Insider Appreciation Week. So I really wasn't in like huge need of a bunch of stuff. So I didn't get a lot of things, but I wanna share with you guys what I did get. First up here, is this absolutely adorable hand cream from Tony Molly. And it's just so, look at this packaging, you guys. Like, let me, let me show you it. Let me, let me show you. Like, I just, Tony Molly is fast becoming one of my favorite brands in Sephora because everything is so cute. Look at the little booty on this, on this peach. <laughs> like, I will take this everywhere because it's just so precious i have no idea what that says i know that that's hangul and chinese and japanese yes but i have no idea outside of that like i don't know what that maybe it's i don't know handle with care i don't know but this is freaking pre precious tony molly peach hand cream Woo, girl so just like the well it doesn't have tony molly printed on here but it's a similar like protective covering as their lip balm. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God, it smells so good. Ah! Oh yes, give it to me. I'll put some on right now. Ooh, girl. All right. Ooh, I'm just gonna be, mmm, mmm, mmm. It smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Okay, so yeah. Because I'm going to be carried away. I'm going to start making love to this thing. <laughs> this is so... Mwah. Next thing, which is super duper cute, is the new Sephora Compact. And this one is the Still Life Alchemy Compact Mirror. And it wasn't bad on the price tag. I mean, it's got some good weight to it. And um, I believe it was $12. So, you know, considering 
I have the Alexis Batar one. This is, this is pretty much. There are at least two of these compacts that you can get. One is the Still Life Alchemy with the really pretty flowers on it. And then the other one is a leather, slick, black, chic um, with the, the gold teeth detailing on it. It is a, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blind you guys. I'm gonna stay right here with it. <laughs> the bottom mirror is magnified and then this top mirror is standard. So you get, you know, you can check for the lipstick and the teeth. You can uh, get, get a full look at the face. You can check out that pimple that just won't go away. You know, whatever. It's pretty and if I, don't want to bring my other one with me i can bring this one or you know whatever it's it's really cute it was kind of like a why the hell not kind of purchase more than anything else i don't need it i wanted it so there i said it so let's move on to things i actually need this is the makeup forever brush book it is a an organizer for your makeup brushes and I like that it holds at least 22 brushes. That's a little uh, protective thing. I just keep it intact. And it's faux leather, by the way. I don't really, you know, I don't really go for the real, real deal. But yeah, I like that it's, you know, this is this is a good amount of, uh, of slots for your brushes. And if your brushes are small enough, like if they're the eye brushes, then you can get at least two of them in one slot. And then it has these, um, these little flaps here to hold them in place or, in, or if they're short enough to hold the shape of the, of the bristles themselves. Like that, and then it has this flap here to keep them separated from each other when you close it. Very, very nice. You keep it closed with this elastic binding strap. And what's nice about this strap is that it is elastic so that if your brushes are a little fuller, it will, you know, it'll stretch. So I love it. It was $51, just so you know. So guess what my $50 uh, credit went to? <laughs> I got this bad boy for a dollar. What? Yes. <laughs> okay, and then my last purchase was actually an exchange. I had the Lancome Cushion, Miracle Cushion, I think is what it's called, foundation, and I, had a sample of the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. And I tried that sample, you guys, and I said, F Lancome <laughs> on today. <laughs> because when I tell you this, let me just show you, the first of all, package is on point. On point. But let me show you, first of all, how beautiful, how freaking stunning is this? Secondly, this is um, like a, it's a full coverage foundation. It is almost pure pigment, you guys. Like when I tell you, pigmented. So it comes with a dropper. It's not even a dropper, it's just like a ball so that you can swipe a couple stripes on and you really truly only need about three swipes. Get your forehead one side of the cheek, the other cheek, and that is all you need for your entire face. Full coverage, no doubt. Don't believe me? Just watch in my next tutorial. <sighs> so this is, sorry, I just, I love it. This is Coco Medium, and I believe there is one shade darker than this, and it's actually not necessarily darker so much as it is a different undertone. So I am more like red in my undertone, so I went with this one, but you can, uh, if you have a more like neutral undertone, then you can go for the other one. And right now, I'm actually more of the darker shade, which is number 86. This is 84 because I'm going to save this for when my tan wears off. <laughs> but, um, and, and because I already have another um, foundation, which I will show you guys that currently matches what I've got going on right now. But yes, I love this remarkable foundation and it's super duper light and the coverage is sickening. Like you will have, when I tell you the longevity, you guys, like the longevity you can get from this kind of foundation, and it's like, it's not necessarily serum based, but it's not your typical silicone foundation, you know? And it's oil free, so it's good for us oily girls, even though it has a luminous kind of, actually it's more of a satin-like finish, 
Um, that's what I got when I wore it. And I dread getting attached to this because it ain't cheap, but it's good. Like this will make, this will, this will make you turn your up at that water, so it's that good. I suggest you go to your local store and get a sample of this and just be prepared to love it. And if you don't, let me know. Let me know if it ain't for you. But I'm oily and I live. You just gotta, you just gotta know how to set it. So that was it for, you know, things that I purchased. And so I decided since I had all those points that I wasn't gonna be able to use for epic rewards, I went ahead and just got the 500 point gifts, the two that are currently online. <sighs> okay. Makeup Forever, this is some bullshit. Let me tell y'all that right now. This is the second time I've had to get on you, Makeup Forever. Because these shadows, I was expecting a little pan. You know, not no damn strip samples that I could get for free on checkout. Like, I didn't appreciate that at all. Secondly, Especially since I'm spending 500 points. That means I spent $500 to get to the, the points for you to give me some, some shit you could have gave me for free. I don't appreciate it. It's rude. This liner I'm cool with and I live because it's a full size liner and who the hell can't use a nice black um, retractable liner? Who can't use that? Fine. The Plexi Gloss, you lucky I freaking like this one. It's really nice. It goes nicely over a lot of different lipsticks. Thank you. The eye thing, okay, fine, whatever. Like, I wouldn't have bought this, to be totally honest with you. I wouldn't have bought this eye thing because I have eye makeup remover and who the hell doesn't have olive oil in their kitchen, you know what I mean? So I don't, whatever. But the only things that I'm really here for in here are this liner and this gloss. I could have got the full size and this for like, not even 50 bucks. And then I spent 500 points for this. Like, I, I'm not here for this. Do better makeup forever. Mirad, you're all right with me. <laughs> Cause I enjoy this gift. Now, I usually do generally enjoy the skincare ones. Um, I really wanted the Clarisonic one and I missed out on it and I'm just kicking myself because it came with a freaking brush head. But anyway, um, I actually purchased at Ulta the full size version of this which is the exfoliating cleanser. And I ended up taking it back because you know, I'm getting this sample one and I was just gonna try it out anyway. So thanks for saving me $36, Sephora. <laughs> um, and then you get an eye cream in here, you get a moisturizer, and then you get a um, sunscreen. So th that's great. This is, this is a really nice one. I like the Mirai one a lot. And that's it, you guys. That is my haul. I know I just kind of went off. <laughs> but I want to keep it real with you guys because, you know, you invest a lot in your beauty, what, whatever is a lot to you. You invest in your beauty regimens as, um, as lovers of, of beauty and cosmetics and makeup, etc. And I'm just someone who has high expectations about the products that I spend all this dag on coin on. And I just, you know, and then the companies who really show their appreciation to me are the ones who get the majority of my money. And I mean, you can call that whatever you want to call it. I just feel like for myself as somebody who um, does like freelance work or someone like I'm, I'm a creative. And so my jobs are based off of my creativity, my talents, et cetera. And when people come to me, when clients come to me and they want, want something or you know, they're asking for my work, I try to give them like the best service possible. And which is why I appreciate Sephora for making up for this, you know, very clearly, very clear screw up. So I appreciate Sephora for that. I wanna say, you know, big ups to you guys for doing the right thing, you know, uh, working to make up this um, conundrum for us. That was great. Makeup Forever, this is the second time I had to get on you guys. I'm gonna need, like, for real. Come on. That gift was, was BS for 500 points. And that's all I gotta say. If you disagree with me, you guys, have feel free to let me know 
in the comment section that you disagree and why. Maybe you got the gift and you love it and you feel like you can get a lot of wear out of those eyeshadows. Um, and that the, you know, $20 per the actual size isn't really a big deal to you. Like, whatever. But <laughs> let me know. But, um, yeah. I, hopefully they'll pull through. I mean, I still love the HD line. I will say that. The HD line is life from Makeup Forever. And I still really enjoy their um, press powders and things like that. You know, I still enjoy the brand. I just feel like they fell short on this gift and I hope that in the future they take note that they did in fact fall short and that they offer something that is worth you reaching that milestone with your points and make you want to spend your points on it. So anyway, you guys, that's pretty much it from me. I'm going to stop ranting. I really enjoyed my items, especially this cute hand cream this absolutely perfect foundation because the like you guys saw the nude air from dior for me and i really loved it but it was like an, I, I was an oil slick all day long so i am praying on this that you know that it rains supreme and that i can that it works for me they're very similar in formula i think this one is more pigmented and less serum-y so <laughs> we'll see how it goes and i will definitely let you guys know and that is going to do it for me for this Sephora haul, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.